So hi, my name is Joe Brewer and I'm a change strategist. Today what I want to do is share with you a topic that doesn't get nearly enough attention in the work of culture design, and that is group facilitation processes. Now it turns out that there's a lot that's now known about how to organize and manage groups, how to design events, and how to help people move through decision-making processes in order to creatively address real-world problems in real time. And the book that I want to share with you today is this one, The Change Handbook, the definitive resource on today's best methods for engaging whole systems. And it's uh, edited by, or it's written by Peggy Holman, Tom Devane, and Stephen Cady. What the Change Handbook does that's so wonderful is it provides you a reference source of all of the most prominent and effective methodologies for group facilitation. So if you want to change the organizational culture at your company or your nonprofit or in your office, if you want to bring together a group of people and form a community and then collectively solve a problem, if you want to uh, manage conflict or stimulate creativity or creatively brainstorm, discover what the problems and challenges are among a group of people, or any of a number of other things that pertain to the way that a group is working or not working, and how to move them through their stuckness to places of solutions, actions, empowerment, healing, and so forth, then you really need to know how group facilitation works. And so the Change Handbook is probably the best resource out there for understanding how to manage and facilitate groups. Now, this can be everything from coming in and doing strategic uh, advising and guidance for uh, the board of an organization. It could be uh, creating an event like a conference or an unconference, and it could be uh, something like taking a group of people that have worked together for a long time and helping them reestablish and reground themselves and work through the kinks. So um, this book is fantastic because not only does it go through all of the major uh, what are called social technologies or user experience design protocols, for facilitating groups, but it tells you when they're most useful to be applied and which situations they're not useful for. So this includes things like open space or unconference. It includes things like consensus building. It includes things like values alignment, uh, open brainstorming, and so on. So all of these are different technologies or methodologies for guiding groups through a process to achieve some purpose or goal, which Culture design is all about doing this, so if you want to understand um, what skills you should learn so that you can do this effectively, then this is the book to get. The Change Handbook, which is a very, very useful, well-written compendium of the best group facilitation techniques in the world. So that's it. I recommend you go and get your own copy today. Keep it on your shelf and pull it out anytime you need it to just learn about a different methodology. Start practicing those different methodologies in your own groups or in your organizations and make the world a better place. So there you have it, the Change Handbook, one of the best books for a group facilitation out there. Enjoy.